In the previous video, we looked at how to read data from a text file by opening up a stream channel for read operations and to bring data then from that text file into our Python application and populate a list. In this lesson, I'm going to look at going the other way. How do we write data to a text file from our Python app? If you remember, we had that list of dogs that we had created. And let's say we make some modifications that to that dog's list, I want to be able to write that data back out to the data file to save that data and then be able to read that back in at another date. So I'm keeping my data fresh or renewed. So to do that, we again create a stream channel, this time for write operations. And it really is no different than the read operation. We use the open method. And so here I've created a a method called save data and I'm passing it my list that I want to save and I'm calling that list locally updated dogs and I'm going to use this to update my data whenever I make a change to the list whether I'm adding a dog or removing a dog and in one case the data that's being fed to updated dogs will be my dogs list from the main program but when I delete a dog I'm going to pass it that local pooches list that's been updated and write my data from there. So either way, updated dogs will be our modified list. And then I'm going to open up my famous dogs.csv text file. It's a comma separated value file. And that's going to be my file. So my file equals open. And then you'll notice I have a second parameter here, and that's a W for write mode. Now, I, in the previous video, I probably should have put an R there for read mode. It allowed us to open it and read it. But in this case, I'm going to specify I only want to write to it. Notice that on my next line I've commented out, I could also put an A there, which would mean to append to whatever data is already in that file. When I do the write mode, anything that's in that file will be written over. So I'm going to start basically with a new copy of that data file if it exists. If it doesn't exist, then that write mode will create the file. In the append mode, it will add data to the existing file. And then I also put a little comment here on another line that I, again, probably should have showed you in the previous video, because I mentioned if, if you didn't have the data file in the same folder as your application file, your Python file, you could specify a full path. And so I have C colon backslash my data backslash famous dogs.csv. But remember that backslash is an escape character. So if I put an R in front of that string, that's supposed to treat it as a raw string. So just something to be aware of there. Okay, so I've opened my file uh, in write mode, and then I'm gonna write to that data file using the write method. And what I'm gonna write is a string of name, comma, breed, comma, category, and that's my header. And I wanna make sure I include that header because that header is expected when I read the data in. If I didn't put that there, the next time I read the data back into my file, I would lose my first line of data. So I've written my header out, and then I'm simply gonna do a little loop that goes through updated dogs. And for each record in updated dogs, I'm gonna write a new line character plus record element zero, that's gonna be the name, and a comma, and then record element one, that's gonna be the breed, and a comma, and record element two, that'll be the category. Once that loop is completed, I have my entire data file written, and then I close my file, and then I'm gonna to print to the user that the data file was saved. Just let them know that the data file has been updated. So let me jump over to Python, and we'll take a look at it in operation. Here's that same Python program we worked on in the previous lesson, uh, except now I saved it as writing data, and I'm gonna just change my comment here that it is writing data to a text file. It's also still reading it, but this is the second version of it. And so I made a couple changes. The main change was that function that I just showed you, the save data function from passing it updated dogs. No difference here. Here's where I made two other changes in my application. One is on choice G, when we're adding a dog, if new dog is not an empty list, and I'm going to add a record, then we appended that to our dogs list. And at that point, I then want to save that new dogs out to my file. And that's where I call the save data and I pass it dogs. And then on operation H, I want to save my data after I remove the dog, but I didn't do it here because 
there's no guarantee that dogs has changed with this. I only want to take the time to save that data out, and it's going to do it in the in a snap of a finger, in a split second, at least with this amount of data. But I want to only want to do it if I've actually removed a dog. So I did it. I called the save data function from my remove dog function. And I only call the save data if I've actually deleted one of the records and I print that that record was deleted and then I call save data. And pooches is the list I'm gonna pass it. That is my local list of the modified dog list that was passed to it. And so before I return pooches, I'm just gonna save that data. And when I return pooches, then that becomes my new dogs list in the main program. That's basically it for writing data. If I wanted to do a tab rather than a comma, then the change I would make in my save data program would be rather than specifying a comma between each of the record elements, I would put a backslash T for a tab character. All right, well, let's run this and make sure that, that it works. I'm gonna to go to run. So I've read my data in automatically. I'm gonna do a B to list all the dogs alphabetically. That'll be our benchmark here as we add and remove dogs and save the data out. So I wanna add a dog. That's item G. The dog I'm gonna add is Clifford, the big red dog. And I'm assuming since he's red, he's probably an Irish setter and category is going to be cartoon. And so I'm told that the data file was saved. That's coming from that save data method. Now let's remove a dog. So I'm going to do H this time. And the dog I'm going to remove is Checkers. That was President Nixon's dog. Made the famous Checker speech. It says that Checkers record was deleted, data file saved. Now let's just double check this. Let's do a B again. And you can see that Clifford is part of my listing and checkers is no longer there. But I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna go ahead and close that whole shell. I'm gonna run this again. And again, I'll do a B. So this is coming a whole new load of the data from the data file. And notice that Clifford is there and checkers is not. So it saved my data, both adding a record and removing a record. So now you know both how to read data from a file and how to write data back to a file. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.